Hey guys, I'm Kirko. Welcome to Dungeons of Edera. This is a roguelike action RPG slash dungeon crawler where you go through procedurally generated levels and dungeons and such and battle through hordes of monsters and humanoids and all kinds of things to restore Edera to its former glory. Now the game is still on early access and it uh, hit Steam uh, at the end of August, so roughly a month ago. It's being developed and published by Monster Tooth Studios, and you can grab it for uh, only 12 euros right now on Steam. So it's pretty low on the budget side, so you can, you know, grab it easily and have fun with it. If you like Dungeons Crawler, Dungeon Crawlers, this one might be for you. It's It's got plenty of loot drop dropping from monsters, it's got traps, plenty of mobs to fight, bosses at the end of the dungeons, and so on. Now you can play through campaign, or you can just go into random dungeons. This is straight into dungeons with random character and every talent available to unlock. Char character death is permanent, but uh, some of your gold will be transferred to your stash. So you could go through campaign, which I believe it gets you, you know, some some more of a story mode and how you're saving the Adera. But for the purpose of this, we're just gonna jump into Dungeon Runner, just so we can showcase how the fighting and all that kind of works. So it's gonna be a random character, we're gonna have random stats and so on, and we'll see what we get. Alright, so let's see who we got. So it looks like we have a quest, we need to gather 10 loaves of bread, and we start with a guy who has a sword and a shield, or you know, a buckler. You can block, you can swing, you have bigger swings, you got, uh, let's see, we have a bash right now. Looks like we have just a couple of minutes to search for food, but that's fine. I still want to look through this guy. So you can see we start with just some standard stuff. Apparently I do have this founder's coat because I got, I don't know exactly why, but I got the game. Helena is this guy's name. Interesting. Base stats, you can see. And here are all the talents. We need to level up to unlock stuff. Right now we have shield bash. Then later on you can get something cool. You can do magic, etc, etc. So, Let's go out there, let's go find those loaves of bread. Now the, the game is kind of Souls-like, but of course easier. You know, you have all the rolls and the dodges and parries and all kinds of stuff. You know, bashes like this. And you can play with mouse and keyboard, which I'm using right now. Or you can play with, of course, uh, gamepad. These are traps. And I've noticed that using traps to kill your enemies is like the easiest way to get through this. Because you can bait them into traps also. Yes, there's some FPS dropping happening right now. So, let's see if these guys are gonna trigger themselves into some traps or something like that. Let's actually bring him back here. Hey, sir. Come over here. Come with me if you want to live. I'll just sprint over here. We're gonna hide behind a trap. Hey, dude. Come on over here. Now, keep in mind that they will also roll through traps. Now, this guy didn't actually get hurt for the first time, but the second time he got he got stabbed. <laughs> and that's the easiest way to kill them. Down below you can see we're getting XP. And I already saw somebody getting smacked by something, which was probably this guy. Oh yeah, he just got stabbed and he fell down as well. Alright, I think another dude fell down somewhere. And got hurt. Oh yeah, they're hurting. They're hurting out there. Oh, that one is healing himself though, down there. You see that? I think he's casting some healing magic. Oh, sir, you should announce yourself. Okay. No, no, no. No healing allowed. Now, there's two of them, so that could be pretty nasty. Oh, he was healing this guy. Let's, uh, let's try the shield bash. We got hurt there. I should probably try blocking. Okay. Would you stop healing? Okay, you know what? You guys healing each other? Come on over here. Well, just wait over here. Now, your HP regens slowly but surely. So, don't really need to go for the potion just yet. You know what? Go through the two, two traps. How about that? There you go. Maybe the other guy's gonna want to heal you again right now. Okay. One guy is almost dead. We got hurt by this guy. And bash him. There you go. And we got some plate mail of the Lich. Which I don't think is going to be useful to us because we do have that Founder's Robe that's helping us a lot, actually. Founder's Coat, extra health, stamina, and mana. And this is cold damage and health, so you can see. Now, you can also get over-encumbered with uh, how much stuff you're carrying, so you got to be careful. 
I don't know if you're going to be able to pick up all the loaves of bread in time, because we only have like half of the time <laughs> left. We already spent a lot, and I don't see any anywhere around here. We got a pick lock over here, and there's some loot. These guys are yelling down there. We got a bow and wand. That's a lot of troops, actually. Okay, this we can, I think, pick up to heal ourselves. And I don't think we have ranged... Yeah, we don't have a ranged talent. We could probably use the wand, but... I don't know. And you can see the game slows down when you're doing this, this stuff. Hey, hey, come through this. There you go, that's the first one. Another one? Oh, that one was immune, apparently. Okay. That one hit me. Good. Okay, what do we got? Gloves? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Almost killed myself, but we got some plate mail, which we don't need. We did equip the gloves. Oh, where are you, sir? Sir, come over here. We're playing uh, hide and seek. Oh, you know what? He's sneaky. And then he gets stabbed. Another robe. All right. You can see they have random values, like robe of the ox. You know, classic from if you played any RPGs ever. That's how they all work. I don't know if there's any benefit from having high ground, but it thinks, or I think that I have missed this guy a couple of times before because I was high ground. Dude. Oh, I was trying to bash him, but I think he hit me as well. And here he goes, flies away. We also have these things. The, the NPCs love to hit those, so... What's that? Oh, that's a uh, claymore. We don't have uh, two-handed weapon specialization, so can't really do much there. But I did see... Oh, there's one of these. I did see a loaf over here. Ah! That was close. Get me that bread. There you go. Found one bread. That guy got himself killed. Easy. And we got some swords. So that's the claymore. We got an epic lucky longsword of the reaper. Alright, let's go, that's a that's a big sword, good shit, God, I love you, a big sword, and there's something over here, what do we have, that was a new journal entry, okay, so I think that's journal, okay, so we got some more lore, if you're interested in the lore, you can do that, that's fine, there we have another loaf of bread, and, s no, I thought that might be more, Lore entries, but it's not. We do have a chesty over here. That was the wrong button. A uh, new shield. Well, don't mind if I do. A kite shield. Okay, has some cold damage. Extra armor and that stuff. Oh, looking good. Looking good. Let's go onwards to glory. We also have a map so we can see, you know, where you can go. There's, There seems to be... Uh, these seem to be quite big. And by the way, you, you're not just... Uh, in dungeons, you get to be in uh, places like forest and ruins outside, etc., etc. Battle axe of the snake. All right, what do we have here? More stuff: amulet, bracers, gloves. You know, you can't wear too many gloves. So we have mana gloves. This is fire damage and life steal. This is mana again. I don't know. Let's go with this one. We don't really need that much mana. Probably. I don't know. We did equip the amulet, which doesn't give us actually anything. But it's an amulet. And... Uh, get some lag spikes again. I wonder because there's many people getting in here or why exactly we get lag spikes. But you know what? Let's have these guys come over here and uh, maybe uh, get hit by some of these traps. How about that, dude? Oh... Okay, that guy is almost dead. Okay, so we hit each other at the same time. That's fine. Oh, that was the wrong button. <laughs> up top, up top left, you can see we have our mana is the blue one. And then above that is our stamina. And then above that is our HP. Give me my bread. So we found three pieces of bread. Not very good. Get smacked, son. This staggers them. Ooh, level up! Let's go! Alright, so now that we level up, 
we can go pick up a new thing. So you have Vakara over here, Spirit, Magician, stuff like that. Suffract, Constitution, Two-Handed Weapons, so more like that. And Water Magic, I don't know how this is all spread out, but hey. Uh, Arbidium has a Shield Bash, but Endurance, but also Piety and Fire Magic. Now here, Common, we have Dual Wielding, Cleave, Caltrops, Lock Picking, Range Weapons. I'll pick Caltrops. Because I have noticed that these guys are big boys, and I love them. Ooh. Bows, cleavers. So the way the caltrops work, you throw them on the ground like this, it takes mana, and enemies walk on them and take damage. It's beautiful. You know, you can just kite everything like that. Unless they are ranged units. No, just drop these as long as you have mana. And then they take damage. <laughs> you know, and then you go back here and they walk through them again. And they die. They die. Easy. Ooh, that's a bigger shield. Now, I realize we're running out of time, but, you know, it doesn't really matter to me right now. I want to see this. Health and lightning damage. And extra armor. Ho, <laughs> ho, That's a shield. Put that on your... Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's some kind of a shield. I like it. Helmet? Oh, we got a helmet. Look at that. That's a proper helmet now. Now we have equipment. We got a amulet that gives us bonus attack speed, 2.356. Sure, yeah, I'll we'll grab that. I think otherwise everything has been looted over here. Let's go onwards to glory. We will fail our quest, almost certainly. There's no way in like one minute I can find seven more, seven more, seven more loaves of bread. Now I don't know what's gonna happen once we fail it. I guess that we can figure out together. But it could be... I don't know what it could be. Maybe you're just gonna murder us, I don't know. I don't think so, though. Hello, sir. You see my big shield? Oh, yeah. Get dead. Get dead. I think every time we load like into a new zone-ish area, it kind of lags out for a bit. Oh, he almost took damage there. Alright, boys, look. There's some caltrops as well. Oh, he went flying. Caltrops? Want some caltrops? We got some caltrops. Yeah? These guys want some caltrops? Hey, boys. <laughs> he just, <laughs> he's just getting hit there. Yeah, that guy just died. Yep. Ooh, mission failed. Time has run out. Okay, so now we just have to defeat the boss and get out of here. Alright, buddy. Yeah, step on the caltrops and die. You see why this is good? You see why I'm saying this is good? Because, you know, if you can just passively murder everybody, why not passively murder everybody? We also got some plated lightnings of the boar. Health and cold damage. Pretty good. Pretty good. No loaves of bread for us. But new journal entry, though. And these guys have all just killed themselves. Perfect. Alright, so now we need to find the boss. Bow that we can't really use. And... Oh, there's apparently loaves of bread back there. Huh. Imagine that. Ew. Loot. That's a sneaky loot right there. Oh, we need a lockpicking ability for that one. Alright, well, we don't have that one. So, can't do much. By the way, I also tried jumping off the map. And succeeded at it. Okay, there's... Enemies everywhere. Okay, that guy is actually triggering. There you go. Walk through that, dude. Yup. <laughs> uh, you know? If you can, cheese it. Cheese it, bro. Alright, look. I've got these cool caltrops. You wanna walk through them? Yeah? There you go, buddy. Seems legit, right? And they don't stay stick around forever, and you might run out of mana before you can actually use them, but to full potential, but that's fine. And you can also kill them this way. Now, when you're gonna actually meet bosses, the one that I've met so far was uh, like a mage lady. She was, she was nasty. Like, you can't block mages. <laughs> and she was just spamming. Uh, attacks constantly like some of those were avoidable because they were 
you know, on the ground and you can just avoid them. But some of them were just directly like machine gunning into my head, which was uh, not nice. Hey, you guys, you coming? Look, there's uh, there's some traps over here that I would like to. You, I'd like to introduce you to these traps. Yes. You, sir, traps. Come one, come all. Yes, sir. We got traps. There, there you go. There you go, buddy. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, the, these guys love their traps, and uh, it's fine. Look, there's a loaf of bread there. You can actually still pick it up. Um, nom nom nom. Ooh, okay, that's a that's a ranged unit. There you go. That's no longer a ranged unit. That's what you get, buddy, for not trying to fight me. Like a man. Okay, that guy is coming to fight me like a man. Oh, and I walked into it now. So this is a double-edged sword. Alright. Straw Hat? I wonder if Straw Hat... <laughs> There's a guy that just died. <laughs> I wonder if the straw hat is good. Is your bonus damage? Look at how it looks. That's awesome. I think we're gonna keep the steel helmet when it comes to this. I think that's fine. Take the bread. Let's see what this guy dropped. Sir, what did you drop? Leather gloves of the rogue. That's probably more like a rogue build if we went with daggers and dual wield and such. Yep, here he goes. Went flying. Went flying. Ooh. Another feathered cap of the rogue. I don't know if that's gonna be useful. Where are we at now? We're just making. Just circling around over here. Oh, this is actually showing us where the, uh, the other bread would be? Interesting. Is that in this direction? No, that's in this direction, right? There's bread that way. Can we go that way? Let's go check. You know, maybe we need to follow the breadcrumbs and get to the boss. It might be. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's follow the breadcrumbs. This might... Oh, yeah. I think that portal leads you to the boss room, if, I, if I'm not wrong. Hello, sir. Come, buddy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See my shield? It's a beautiful shield. And now you're dead. Oh, Jesus. Feels like we're dropping all kinds of stuff. But yeah, it feels like when we get into new rooms like this, maybe it loads them up or something like that. I'm not sure how it works exactly. But it feels like, yeah, that we are slowed. Okay. Hey, go slowly, buddy. I want to see this. Uh, this is a rare one. We do have an epic one. Getting more damage and have all that. Although this one does have better attack speed. Yeah, there, there's the call traps. Oh, he did hurt me. You dildo! I was, uh, I was being, uh, being a obnoxious piece of shit. I was like, hey, I can kill you easy. There you go. Come, buddy. There you go. <laughs> so these normal enemies, in general, at least at this, you know, level one, they're not very dangerous. You can just get by by just dodging and cheesing them but i'm guessing that on higher levels things will get tougher that is my guess is that true i don't know because not i've not really gotten to the higher levels so yeah how would i know right great hammer amulet of slaying okay let's see this one so this one is bonus damage and stamina the other one is attack speed i think i'm still gonna keep the attack speed i kind of like the idea of that okay let's go to the boss Boss fight. Alright, so we have two dudes. Ooh, okay. Definitely a different boss than I faced last time. Last time, I was fighting a, <coughs> as I said, a mage boss. It was uh, pretty difficult to deal with. I gotta say, I actually had to use my health potion. But against this one, we'll see. We'll see what he's got. Simple wand? Eh. Okay, I blocked the not correct moment. I mean, I should probably just dodge, really, truthfully. But it's fine. Hammer. Get that. 
Alright, looks like it's boss fight, boys. Let's see if we can not lose. But this guy is gonna run into us, which means that we can use Caltrops. Oh! He avoided them, did you see that? Would you look at this? He's a smart boy. I don't have mana for it, though. I don't have mana for more Caltrops, so just come through here, buddy. Look, I've got some more. Okay, those ones despawned, unfortunately. Come, dude. There you go. There you go. Alright. That, that hurt slightly. <laughs> but we can still Caltrop him if we can. We just don't have mana for it. Looks like he's uh, presiding over a church of some sorts. Oh, I did get one hit there. Okay, just waiting for my mana to regen so I can drop some more of these. Oh, hey, dodge, dodge, what the hell? All right, we'll drink potion. He didn't want to dodge. He's just like, yeah, I'm going to look in the different direction. He really doesn't want to go through my call traps. All right, all right. You know what? I can just stab you a bit. Oh, he's mad. Ooh, he spawned another dude. We'll see if that guy is smart enough to not walk through Caltrops. Doesn't seem so. Hey, Caltrops. Caltrops, there you go. I do want to kill this guy. Oh, he spawned another dude. Alright. Well then. Well then. Oh, I was dropping Caltrops. I was dropping Caltrops. Couldn't dodge that one. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Oh, this is funny. Okay, now stop spawning new dudes. Because that's kind of noxious, you know? You're kind of cheating. Oh, that guy just stood there. Okay, these guys can drop loot, though. That's smart. Ah, there we go. He did. We leveled up. Boss dead, boys. Boss dead. As I said, you can kind of cheese some of them. Let's see what kind of loot we get. Ooh. Leggings, plate mail, breastplate. We're over encumbered. Something else. Okay, so now I can't dodge no or encumbered. So we're gonna go drop something. Let's see what we have. Morning star, meh. Uh, breastplate with nothing but a drop. We can, oh, this one is soul bound, huh? We can still drop that. We do have the leggings. That's mana and crit. We can get rid of that. We can get rid of these that don't have any actual stats. You know, and this this is our carry weight. That's about it. Gold in stash and gold on us. And we did level up so we can get another point. Stamina, increase your mana regen, unlock use of spells in the fire discipline. I wonder if uh, this is gonna give us anything. Looks holy bulwark aura. Oh, increased armor. Let's actually get that. We can get the aura. Ooh, and I have increased armor. All right, that's kind of cool. Activate the shrine. So this gives you special bonuses. Ring in this bell fills you with strange power. Okay, so let's see. That's a, That should be a boon, right? So we get magic damage, extra health, and extra stamina. Ooh, okay, kind of cool. And there we go. We can now teleport to the next dungeon. And we're going to be facing all kinds of new enemies there. So as you can see, we can hire a companion in town to join your quests. Do stuff for that, you know. Have, have friends join you, basically. So it's easier to get through stuff. I've not really been to any of that. So we're at the Defiled Monastery. We already have people running after us. Now, you can see with the grass on the ground, it's gonna be harder to spot the traps. 100%. We need to locate the Old Forest Roadmap. Alright. That seems uh, 
interesting. We also spawn next to the loot. Ruby Wand, Wand, Long Sword of the Fox. Let's see, how does that one compare? I mean, we do have an epic Reaper sword. So I think that one is probably better. And I did hear the guys... Yeah, look, look at this trap. There's no fucking way you can see it easily. Unless you check the ground. Oh, that guy got hurt. He got some caltrops for you, buddy. <laughs> Easy. Oh, that guy's trying to dodge these things. So I was uh, on a map like this before, and I tried what happens if you jump off. I think you just take a bit of damage, and it teleports you back. So that's about it. But I can show you guys if you want to. If you want to see. Although I think I'm gonna get stuck if I jump down there. Maybe not the best idea. Well, that guy did spot us. Hello, friend. Come on here, buddy. There you go. Oh. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. But I've got a shield, you know. Trying to attack me. I've got a shield. Uh, let's get these guys to come to us. Good thing there's not much, many range units, although, or at least I've not seen many. I've seen like a couple per dungeon usually. There you go. Perfect. The other one didn't want to come. So that's fine. Hello, sir. Where'd you go? Why did he get himself killed? Oh no, he's there. He is still there. That's fine. The punch in the face. And then slain. Good stuff. Alright. So, now you kind of get the idea of the dungeon. It's a dungeon crawler. You get through these. You get better loot. Better equipment. Fight enemies. You know. Level up. Get talents. All that kind of stuff. This is the, just the normal dungeon crawling. Of course, you also have you know the ability to for multiple playthroughs. You know, you could go for more of a da uh, magic class. More of a physical damage class. You know, whatever you want. Play with shield. Play with wants play with whatever you desire and however you seem fit right so that gives you a replayability that dungeon crawlers usually have that's pretty good somebody died out there <laughs> i gotta admit though that the fact that enemies just all kind of get themselves killed constantly due to traps it's legit funny and i like it and Personally, I'm all about that in games. Like, I would abuse the shit out of this. 100%. That's the way I play games. You know, if if you give me a chance to abuse something, I'll abuse it. That's how it is. And I, and I like that this is... Well, this is part of the game. And that's fine. Now, if you're looking for Souls-like combat, this probably isn't gonna do it. It's probably not gonna be that tough. You know? But uh, if you'd like to see some more story, then, you know, just go through... Oh, hard to see you there, buddy. Just go through the campaign. I think the campaign might do something for you. So, for now, thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this preview of Dungeons of Edera. I hope you liked it. And, uh, as I said, check it out on Steam. You can grab it for only... Uh, 12, yeah, 12.50. It's 12.50 right now on Steam, so pretty cheap when it comes to games like this, but it's, of course, in early access. So, you know, do with that knowledge whatever you want to do. Oh, we do have another epic weapon. How cool is that? It was a lot of damage. Nice. All right, so, yeah, check it out on Steam and wishlist it. Maybe wait for the full release if you are not into early access games. But otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Go crowd.